Thank you. Well, what did we learn today uh, as we wrap up this, this conference? We learned one thing is that uh, there are issues that we as Republicans um, have in, in relation to the Latinos, education. That's our issue. Business, that's our winner. Those two. Let, let's look at those. Are, are those our winners? Can we, I mean, we have to. Yeah, um, I will tell you on behalf of everyone here that participated in this program, this is just the beginning of the journey. And here's what we want you to do. If you are serious when you leave today, we want you to contact us right away and say, you are planning in a Latino outreach to your campaign. We want to hear that right away. We want to hear that. Because when we hear back from the, from the candidates that are serious, we're going to follow up with you. We're going to follow up with you. And I think that, that um, that's something we haven't done before. So we want to do that. We want to follow up with you. We want to start the planning now. We've got our state central committee coming in uh, October 26th. And though, let's go to work. Number two, I'm, ta I'm talking to Janet. Is Janet leave already? She's uh, getting elected judges or something. Oh, there she is. OK. <laughs> she went to figure out how somebody won the raffle. I know, Janet. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, but you know, th th we have to start right after that, and we are going to have another meeting here. So for the candidates to get back to us, the Hispanic Republican Assembly, the, the Keith, Keith Arnold, the, and, the, and the, the party, we're going to have another session here. We're not waiting till next year. Of course not. So I want to hear back from you, and, and we will gather again. Because we have to plan, we have to look at your numbers, we have to figure out, is, is, it, is, it, is this something we can do together? So I think if we gain anything today, we gain a lot of good information. We, we, we maybe, we're doing some more networking here when it, come, when it comes to this issue. And so let's leave with that. But I, I challenge everyone to, to, to really commit to what this, this is about. This is about the future of the party. We can soft sell it, we can move it around, we can bring up demographics, and we can bring up numbers that if three million more Republicans would have voted for Mitt Romney, he would have won. Well, we can say that. I mean, I don't know who those Republicans are. Let's hunt those people down. I'd love to hunt every one of them down. But, but at the same time, you know, but at the same time, we got, Mitt got 23% of the Latino vote. So let's look at that end of it. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Janet, thank you for all of you, uh, Mark, thank you for uh, Mark Jefferson from the RNC, and to all our friends, all the panelists, our friends from Illinois, you know, they have to, they're going back, they always go back in the dead of night when they come back from a Republican thing. You know, they watch how they, they park the car and everything, but we love our guys, we're going to be working with, with, uh, with Angel and Steve, they're going to be part of our team. Uh, Nancy Hernandez, Nancy Hernandez, you know, that's, she owns Milwaukee, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and we will tell you that the, the idea of putting the Midwest together, that's not just a once a year deal. No, we're going to go to work. We're going to start formulating our, our group as, a, as the Midwest and work together as a team. And, uh, and together, I think that we, when 2014 rolls around, we're going to be ready. And the numbers we get, with the Latino vote, we're going to roll right into 2016 and take the White House. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. We have one more. Uh, Mary? I, have, I noticed that you were recording today. Is, is uh, the, any of the featured presentations going to be um, put on YouTube? Well, that's, that's, that's Dallas. You know, Dallas and I are working over the rights because he wants his contract and everything. So we have to, he's talking money already, man. I said, geez, already? But anyway. Um, no, Dallas, thank you for being here with us. Well, when is this going to be available, Dallas? Have you any idea? Could you give us a, a, a pie in the sky? As soon as I get 20 hours of working time in on it. <laughs> okay, there it is. He's got to watch the Viking game, too. After that, we'll talk about it. Okay. Are the Green Bay Packers still playing football? I don't even know. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant I mean the Chicago Bears, baby. I didn't mean you. I love you, Packers. Oh, he's with the Broncos. You know, I've known, no, no, I've known Victor all these years. He never mentioned he was from Denver until now. Wow. Pretty surprising. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Thank you.